Welcome to my channel, Custom Scrapbook Design by Christy Stubbs, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Morning Mix. Saturday Morning Mix is an open collaboration hosted by Jillian Norwood here on YouTube. I will link her channel below. Be sure to check her out and all of the other designers and collaborators who are taking part in the open collaboration by searching the hashtag SatMornMix and you'll be able to see what they were up to this Saturday. So for my Saturday morning makes this Saturday, I am sharing three sets of two page layouts with you. And I am using the Fresh Air Collection by Simple Stories. Now they actually had put out a class with um, instructions and everything, and I started to utilize that and found that I really wanted to adjust some of that myself. So I created my own tutorial on that and you can find that on YouTube here as well. I will link both the video and the kit down below for you. So the first layout here is this beautiful and fun pink plaid background here. And then we've got uh, ephemera pieces that I've raised up on some foam tape. And then we've got the enamel dots that are a part of that collection. And hopefully you can kind of see that but they're absolutely gorgeous. They've got glitter in them. And so this is the left-hand page. And this page actually holds two four by six photos and one three by four. And then as I bring in the right-hand page, this one holds two four by six photos, one three by four photo. And again, I have lifted up a bunch of the ephemera on some foam dots and used the enamel dots as well. And so I've got a fun little um, kind of scenery set up here with ephemera pieces, butterfly up here. Used a punch on this outside piece here to put that scallop on there. And then use the Color Vibe collection for the background page just in the white. So that is my first two page layout. The second one is again using the Fresh Air Collection. And here's the left hand page. I did use foam tape to lift this tag up, added some seam binding. And both the foam tape and the seam binding do come in your kit. I've got some enamel dots here. Uh, this page actually holds two 3x4 photos and then two 4x6 photos. Same with the um, coordinating page. You're going to have two 4x6 and two 3x4 photos on this one as well. Raised up some more of the ephemera pieces on some foam tape here as well as the tag. Added um, the seam binding on this tag as well. And then I also wrapped this 3x4 photo mat with a piece of twine up there in the corner. So that is the second two page spread. And then the third and final one is totally my uh, creation. Those other two are kind of based loosely off of the Simple Stories um, layout. And then this, these are ones that I created using leftover cutoff pieces from the other layouts and then just a few uh, new pieces as well, and then the leftover ephemera pieces, trying to use up as much of the collection that comes in the kit as possible. So this page actually holds two 4x6 and two 3x4 photos again. I've got the tag here lifted up on some foam tape, the uh, yellow seam binding, some enamel dots, and then some more ephemera pieces just kind of creating a little scene here. I loved this little bike in the ephemera pieces and then the fun floral here. And then I just kind of alternated which ones were um, lifted up on that foam tape. So it definitely has some good dimension. So that's the left hand page. And then when you slide the right hand page in, we've got all the same color combination here, same papers, again, using up the scraps from the others. And this one holds two three by four photos and two four by six photos as well. And then we've got a little gardening type scene here on the bottom, alternating which pieces are lifted up on some foam tape 
this sunshine is lifted up on some foam as well and then we've got the beautiful dragonfly and then look at that cute little chicken in the corner so um, this is a great way to document some of your spring and summer photos and you can get quite a few photos on a page if you've been following me at all for a while you know that i like to try and fit as many photos on a page as possible so that again is the fresh air um, page layout kit and then i'm just going to share with you my layout from my sunday night sketch sesh so every sunday on my facebook page i go live with a sketch sesh i post a sketch earlier in the day and then that evening i come live utilizing a collection and i kind of bring that sketch to life for you so i just had to share this one with you because i do have the most adorable subject ever in this particular layout and this sketch had three photos on the bottom i did add four and then the top photos were slightly smaller than what I used. I believe they were supposed to be three by fours and mine are three by fives. So overall, um, the pictures take up a little more room than they did in the original sketch. But I always say a sketch is just kind of a starting point for you. If you wanna follow the sketch exactly, of course you're more than welcome to do that. Me, I kind of use it as a bouncing off point and then um, get my creation from there and just kind of expand on it. So for this particular layout, I did use this Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Meadow Flowers collection. And I will link that down below as well. And if you want to see the process video on this, just go to my Facebook page, Custom Scrapbook Design on um, Facebook, and you can um, watch the video from last Sunday. So on this, I used the foam stickers and then I also used some of the ephemera pieces. And again, I did lift some of those up on foam tape. The butterflies, I kind of like to bend and put them up on foam and try and make, look, make them look a little more realistic, like they're kind of flying. Did add a little bit of seam binding, layered an ephemera piece on the middle of that tag there. And then I did use stickers from the sticker sheet, foam stickers, and then the adhesive enamel dots as well, and then, or uh, decorative brads, and then the enamel dots. So this is a really fun collection. The last couple Sundays I have used it. So if you'd like to check that out, um, like I said, you can go to my Facebook page and I will link that below for you as well. So that's all I have for you this Saturday. Thank you uh, for watching another installment of Saturday Morning Makes. And as I said before, be sure to check out all of the other designers and creators who are taking part in this open collaboration here hosted by Jillian Norwood. Her link will be down below. And I hope you all find a little bit of time to do something creative within your um, own space this Saturday. And if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you are notified each time I upload some new content for you. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.